Welcome to Real Physics. This is a series of short clips about artificial intelligence and physics, and today I will talk about neutrino physics. Now, you know, I'm a critic of the standard model of and all the concepts, and I think neutrino physics has become a mess with the three different types of electron neutrinos, muon neutrinos and tau neutrinos, and even oscillations, and now they are postulating a fourth or fifth or even sixth generation. I think this is a kind of epicycle model here cannot believe really but I might be mistaken so let's just have a look at the raw data and beginning with the missing energy in the beta decay in the 1930s it's something really to explain and we should repeat all these experiments and analyze if there are any gamma rays as Pauli suspected or if there are other coincidences just let's take an open approach to reanalyze all these data and I would love to see the raw data of Cohen and Ryan's 1956 and it would be great to have Fledermann's neutrino experiments in 1963 with the muon neutrinos and the later experiments around 1980 about the tau neutrinos and of course you can put also the data on the internet of the modern neutrino experiments in the Gran Sasso, in the Kamiokande, and so on and so forth. Artificial intelligence might be able to find new structures, new concepts, maybe with symbolic regression, and extract new features out of these data, and hopefully could arrive at a smarter categorization. I would even put into question the entire concept of neutrinos. There were critics and skeptics in the 1960s, but all these critical voices have practically died out, but I think we need to take a new approach and look without prejudice at the raw data. And well, I would say this is a new perspective we can hope for maybe to detect fundamental physics. If you enjoyed the video, don't forget to like it. And if you're interested in fundamental physics, subscribe to this channel.